So we've got our template right here. We can use this template and build directly on here because you're saving it under your own version. So let us, do, do, let's get my drawing out here. So I'm going to make this drawing on my SketchUp right here. So essentially that bridge is going to be right there looking nice and pretty. So let's look at our drawing for a second. Because I know I have measured this all accurately the first time, I can pull out my ruler and I can take measurements directly off of here. So remember I'm using a 1 to 120 scale, which means one inch on my piece of paper equals 10 feet in real life or 10 feet in SketchUp. SketchUp is our real life right here. So when I measure that, 10 inches should be 100 feet. Excellent. Well, where this gets more useful is when I measure other lines on here. So I can figure out this angle. I can figure out the length of this little part right here. I can figure out the length of this line right here without having to do very much math because I've drawn it all accurately here. So right here, this line on my paper is two and a half inches. So that is two and one half inches. So in real life times 10 would be 25 feet, right? Because two and a half times 10 is 25. So coming back to our, so that's how we use the ruler when we're looking at our drawing here. So coming back to our SketchUp. Let's, first let's just draw just a really basic um, thing here. Again, get as detailed with this as you're comfortable. If you're very confused by this all, it can be simple. If you're really into it, make it as complex and as detailed as you want to. So first I'm just gonna draw with my rectangle tool, my deck right here, right? So I just used my rectangle tool, I clicked on one corner. Try to get, get my head out of the way there. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, so I click on one corner, rectangle tool, click on the corner, move my mouse to that opposite corner, and in that bottom right, down here, it should say 100 feet comma 25 feet because when I click on that that is a 100 foot by 25 foot uh, rectangle. Now let's give this a little bit of height. So let's add the push pull and let's bring this up. We're going to use 1 foot 3 inches a lot. So one foot three inches. Why do we do that? Because when we're building to scale, when we're looking at our stuff on our piece of paper, on my drawing, I want it to be about an eighth of an inch. Right, so each piece is gonna be like an eighth of an inch, which is like that big. Well, one eighth, times 10 because of our scale equals 1.25 and if I did 1.25 feet 0.25 feet is 3 inches so that would be 1 foot 3 inches so we're going to use 1 foot 3 inches a lot to just kind of get Get in the habit of how thick do you make something? One foot three inches, because it'll make it look nice. It'll round out nicely, and it works when we're drawing to scale. So I've got a base of my bridge right here. Now, let us figure out where we want these specific parts to be. So coming back to my bridge right here, this line right here is halfway. Now this is my example. You should be doing this with your own drawing. 
but I'm just going through the process of how I would do this with my drawing right here. So that right there is five inches. I'm looking at where this line right here crosses this line right here. So this point right here to here is five inches, which is half of the whole thing. So I want to mark on my SketchUp where the halfway point is. And that's where I'm going to use those guides. So I'm going to use my tape measure. And I'm going to create a guide by what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the corner right here. I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm going to make a point at 50 feet. All right, and you saw right there how the mouse just kind of snapped to it. How it snapped right there to 50 feet. So when I click that, what it did is it just made a point right there. But if I want to guide, what I have to do is click on a line and then bring that over 50 feet. So now I've got a line right there at 50 feet. Uh, looking at my drawing, this one again, I know I can put my ruler up here two and one half inches is 25 feet on my bridge. So again, to make that guide, I'm just going to click on the line. I'm going to move over 25 feet. I can sit here, I can try to get accurate, but it's a lot easier just to type in 25 feet. And so now you see I've got that guide right there as well. And then I know I'm going to need one over here. So let's do another one at 25 feet. So click it from that line, come over 25 feet, hit enter. So now I can see kind of where those are going to cross. So I want to make some of our truss members. So let's do that. Let's add a rectangle. So let's start off doing this one right here, this vertical truss member right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to click right where that intersection is. You should, your mouse should kind of snap to that point. Now if I made a rectangle right here, you see that little preview rectangle is blue. I want it to be green. So again, I can try to move my mouse till it's green, or I can just use my keys on my keyboard. If I press left, it'll turn green. If it's right, it'll turn red, up, turn blue. But I want to make it to go straight up. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to come up. There we go. And how far do I want to come up? I'm going to measure this right here. Well, I know that that's my 30 feet, actually, because that is 3 inches. So I want that to be 30 feet tall and 1 foot 3 inches wide. Now, if I look on SketchUp, you look at the lower right corner, it says 5 feet, comma 25 feet. That just kind of will give you an idea of which one's the length, which one's the width. The smaller number, that five foot, that's where I'm going to put my one foot three inches, one foot three inches, comma, and I put a space, you don't have to, and I want to make it 30 feet tall. 30 feet, enter. All right. So now I have that nice little piece right there. And I want to extrude this, I want to push it in one foot three inches. So I'm going to use my push-pull. I'm going to bring that one in. Here, one foot three inches. Right. So now I've got a big number right there. Now if I want to reuse this again, uh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't make this part a component or a group. Because now when I click this, my whole thing is getting highlighted, and that's not what I want. So let us let me do this. Yeah, all right, so let's undo that real quick. All right, let's make this a group first. So when I triple click, 
I'm going to right click, I'm going to say make group. I can make it a component or I can make it a group. But essentially what that's going to do is it's going to treat this piece separately from the rest. All right, now let's make that rectangle again. Go to my rectangle, hit my left on my keyboard so I get my green rectangle. I want it to be one foot three inches, comma, space, 30 feet. And I want to push that in. So here's another little shortcut. I can do one foot three inches. Oh no. Or in that bottom right corner, if I type in 1.25, oh no, let's stop doing it. Doing the recording thing while doing this is what's throwing off my uh, computer here. So if I type in 1.25 feet, same thing. 0.25 feet, 3 inches, same thing. All right, so now I have this piece right here, which I can triple click. I can right click. I can make it a group. Now this is its own piece right here. Because remember, SketchUp will try to treat these things as just a bunch of rectangles unless you group them or make it a component. All right, so I've got this piece here. I know looking at my drawing, I know that that piece is gonna also be the same as this one right here, and that's gonna be the same as this one right here. Again, this is on my drawing. Yours might be a little bit different. So I'm gonna take this piece, and I'm gonna copy it over to the other side. So I'm gonna hit my Move tool. I'm going to hit control on my keyboard to do that little copy shortcut and I'm going to click a corner because I know I need to click corners to move things accurately. So when I click this bottom corner right here, and I move it over, and because I have that guide, it will snap right into place right there. Now let's do it again, let's put one in the middle. Let's grab our move tool. Let's select our thing, grab our move tool. And this is one thing that we didn't necessarily talk about yet. So when I have this piece right here, you can see I can grab the corner, I can grab the middle point, and I can grab the other corner. Same on the side. Corner, middle point, corner. Um, if I wanted to make sure that this beam right here is centered on this line, I can click it on that middle point and bring that over to that right there. Because when we look at our drawing, you know, these these uh, pieces in real life and in SketchUp have some dimension to it. Our drawing just has a line. So if we want to center it on that line, we can. If we want to shift it to one side or the other on that line, we can do that as well. Um, so that's your choice. I mean, again, it's kind of how accurate do you want to be? How familiar with SketchUp are you? How comfortable are you with it? Um, but let's make this center beam right here. So I'm going to, again, click my piece to select it. I'm going to hit move. I'm going to hit control on my keyboard to make a copy. And I'm going to move it right there. So it's centered right there. All right. All right, so that looks good so far. Now, let us make a couple of these diagonal pieces right here. Now, what you could do is grab your ruler and try to measure that. And looking at my ruler, that's like almost four inches, but it's like three and, I don't know, seven eighths or so, three and 15 sixteenths. You can try to get accurate with it, 
or we can just use what we have right here. We know that this right here is 25. We know that this right here is 30 feet. So why don't we just make a diagonal line from this point to that point. So let's make those diagonal points next here.